Hey, I'm Bad News Baron. You know what's fun? Virtual reality. You know what's not fun? Having it break on you while you're trying to broadcast it. So today in the Intel Streamers Bootcamp, we're going to be talking about some of the pitfalls of virtual reality and how you can avoid them. Of course, that's going to mean talking about our equipment. So let's go ahead and get started with that. You're going to need, first of all, a very beefy gaming PC with an Intel Core i7 processor inside of it because you're going to need as much CPU power as possible for virtual reality. You are also going to need the streaming software of your choice. We are using XSplit today because it works pretty well with this. Um, you're also going to need some capture devices to make sure you capture your video camera. We'll talk about that in just a second. You might also need a friend, a volunteer to help you moderate chats and sometimes you can't see everything that's going on without the appropriate software in your headset. You're also going to need to know what game you want to play in VR because not all of them might work with the uh, setup that you're trying to use. So we're playing Vermintide right now. Um, you're of course going to need a VR setup. Um, you're probably going to be wearing the headset instead of this guy. And then you're going to need a green screen with some very, very good lighting. It needs to be evenly lit in the background. You might also need a very high quality camera to make sure that you're recording as good as possible. Maybe not as high quality as this one. And if you're doing mixed reality, you're going to need a camera crew. All right, so let's talk about how we can set all this stuff up. Now, before you even begin streaming, there's something you have to decide, and that's how you're going to present the picture to your audience. You have three options that you can go through. One is picture in picture, in which case you are green screened on top of the footage, or your camera view is in a little box in the corner of your screen like you might normally broadcast. You could do mixed reality broadcasting, in which case you are composited into the game itself, being rendered in the game engine. So if you're holding up a fireball, you actually have a fireball in your hand. And then the last one would just be a straight point of view shot, in which case people are seeing exactly what you're seeing inside the HMD. You're also going to need to decide how you actually want to stand if you are going to be on a green screen or on mixed reality. Now you could, of course, just face the camera like I'm doing now, but the virtue of virtual reality is that you don't have to do that. You can stand this way, you can stand at an angle, you could stand with your back to your audience if you want to. Each one has different values if you decide to present the story of your stream that way. So just pick one direction and roll with it. Set up your gaming PC with the settings you'd prefer. Then set up your streaming PC for all the stream related aspects. Connect your gaming PC to the capture card. Connect the capture card to your streaming PC. On your streaming PC, go to the control panel and then all control panel items to display and then screen resolution. Use the duplicate setting to duplicate your streaming PC onto your capture card. This will make your streaming PC display 1, your capture card display 2, and your gaming PC display 3. Repeat your gaming PC audio to your capture card. Set up your capture card with your streaming software, either XSplit or OBS. Balance your sound levels on your gaming PC. Synchronize your audio with your visuals. That's all for this episode of the Intel Streamers Bootcamp. For even more videos on learning how to stream, make sure that you check back often as we release new content. Also check out the links at the end of this video. And if you have an idea for a topic you'd like us to cover, just leave it in the comments below and we'll check it out. I'm Bad News Baron, see you next time.